Okay, so now we're going to take a large paper clip and use it to make mounts for our motors. First thing we need to do is straighten the paper clip out. So we're going to remove all the kinks and bumps in the paper clip as much as we can with our hands. And then once we've gotten those uh, pretty much removed, we'll take our needle nose pliers and try and remove the rest of the kinks to get the paper clip as straight as possible. So once we've gotten the paper clip straightened out, we're going to bend it at a 90 degree angle so that it fits snugly against our switches. So once it's in place, we will uh, take our, uh, you can basically take your thumb and hold it against the, the paper clip and then just bend it. And we're using our, uh, basically our battery holder as a forming tool. And we're bending it straight down and then uh, just a little bit forward. So again, we'll put our thumb right there on the edge and then we'll bend it down and then we're going to bend it just a little bit forward. And the, the reason we're doing this is that it's going to allow us to adjust and fine tune the motors. We could just hot glue them onto the side of the, of the uh, battery holder, but then if the motors were at a, an angle that we didn't like, uh, or, or they were at different angles, we wouldn't be able to adjust them. So this extra step helps to uh, allow us to basically saves time later. Uh, so in any case, we're just double checking and making sure everything fits. And uh, we're going to make them make sure that the contacts, those gold contacts on the motor, are out uh, on top. So we are going to hot glue the paper clip to the other side of the motor. And uh, right now, what we what I did with there was I just put the motor on the paper clip and basically just tried to assess how long it needed to be. So it needs to be about a three quarters of an inch long. And then we're going to bend a little dog leg in the end of the paper clip. And it's it's kind of hard to get a grip on it there. So uh, we'll, we'll uh, cut the other one the same length. And uh, there we go. So you can use a nipper pliers, or a lot of times needle nose pliers will have a, uh, a, a cutting tool built into them. And so we want to bring the uh, paper clip out just a little bit at an angle. So the motors are going to stick out at an angle just a little bit there. So we want those out at about a 45 degree angle. They don't have to be perfect because, again, we can adjust them later. So now we've got our uh, paper clip on our motor, and we, we want to make sure that the uh, paper clip holds the motor in, in place. And so in order to do that, I'm just putting it back on here and trying to make sure everything fits and double checking uh, to make sure that we have enough paper clip on the back side of the motor and that it's the right length and kind of getting a feel for how the motor is going to fit against that switch. So each of these are going to be slightly different because they're all built by, you know, everybody's different and the way they build it will be slightly different. But once we've got the uh, paper clip on the motor, it looks like that's about the right length. In order to keep the motor from rotating around the paper clip, we're going to uh, bend the paper clip at a 90 degree angle using our needle nose pliers just at the end. We'll put a little dog leg in it. And so that will hold the motor. It'll keep it from wanting to, to turn around the uh, paper clip. So now we're going to put our paper clip back on and make sure that the motor's at the angle that we want it to be at. And it's not quite at the right angle. So what we can do is just grab our needle nose pliers and turn it and make it so that the motor is lined up straight along the side of the battery holder. And again, this requires a little bit of adjustment, but once you get it right, uh, it works pretty well. So uh, there we go. So that's about right. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect uh, once the motor's on. If for some reason it's, it doesn't fit right, you can always take the uh, hot glue and peel it off and try again. Uh, we also have an extra paper clip in the, in the kit in case you uh, need to. Uh, I will always recommend when you build your kits to have an extra paper clip, but the ones that we're going to be using will have an extra paper clip in them. So if for some reason it doesn't, doesn't get made right the first time, you can always change it. So when we put down the hot glue, we want to put down a, about an eighth of an inch uh, thick hot glue. So about an eighth of an inch deep there on the motor. We want to spread it out very evenly and want to make sure that it is completely covering the paper clip. And it'll take a little while for this to dry, but you can tell it's dry when it turns from clear to sort of a milky color. Okay, so that, that's dry now. And uh, that motor's on there pretty good. And you want to make sure that the hot glue is completely cool before you uh, try and do any adjust fine tuning adjustments because otherwise the paper clip may pull out of the uh, hot glue and then you'll have to do the whole thing again. So uh, we're going to bend the this side the same way, put a little dog leg in it, and uh, then we're going to get our motor 
and line it up just like we did on the other side. And we'll flip it over. It's important to remember that the contacts of the motor, the, the gold colored or brass colored contacts on the motor stick out and are not on the side that you're gluing the paper clip to. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there. And again, you want to hold this in the right orientation um, so that it stays in place and so that the hot glue is completely surrounding um, the paper clip. It's easy to sort of let it move around and then it won't hold very well. Okay, so the hot glue has cooled down. You can tell because it's again that milky color. And uh, now we're going to do some fine tuning adjustments of the paper clip to make sure that our uh, hot glue, I should say that our motor mount is uh, going to fit around our AA battery holder. Now because the hot glue has a thickness, uh, it will tend to, to push out on the motors and so you sometimes may need to make some adjustments to that paper clip. So we're going to use our needle nose pliers to Make sure that the motors are lined up the way we want them to be lined up and that everything fits snugly. Uh, because we put that 90 degree bend in the paper clip, we have some space there that we can use to adjust and make sure that the motors fit snugly.